going on everybody steve here rake and profit and casey rockstar flipper together in the same room what's up everybody yeah so we're in uh tampa florida right tampa. now i just literally flew in and uh casey rockstar flipper he's been an awesome host showing me around we went out for lunch and, trying to get uh, him to move here <laughs> yeah we're having a lot of fun but one of the things we were talking about in the car was one of the biggest struggles or at least some of the struggles we noticed that people have when they're getting started selling on eBay and you know Absolutely. we were throwing a lot of things around man what what's the first thing that comes to your mind so like a lot of people you know they want to do this eBay they want to list and sell and, and be better at eBay or raise their sales and I've got to give a shout out to Caitlin Hortland Horton that I just did a one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching call with and she's awesome and I'm gonna use her as my my little guinea pig thank you Caitlin she has 2100 listings in her eBay store and the number one thing that people struggle with is that they it's not putting in the work to get to the level that you want to be at and they see other people like Caitlin with 2000 2100 listings and Caitlin kicked butt and put that work in and, and what does it mean to actually put the work in I mean it's it's starting where you are today right you might be starting with no sales and it's getting that first sale so listing that first item or listing those first five items shipping out that first item right. and it's the day in day out just kind of grind it's it's little it's little things and little milestones that will bump you to the next one and it's it's hitting your milestone as far as the work you're putting in and then you will hit the milestone from the reward that you get back and so it may be writing down that you're going to list 10 items today like you're going to put them on the table and you're going to actually sit down and list them rather than talking about it and i think that's that's probably where a lot of people fail and that's our next point is by doing that and failing you set yourself up for the quit where people give up right and that's it i mean i've you know myself i've started multiple businesses um and i've observed tons of people you guys who are watching and i've never seen anybody fail who just kept pushing forward like right. it might be temporary defeat like you might get a return right mm -hmm. or like for example have you ever purchased an item i've done this like probably like 50 times it's, it's like i almost like i never learned i get excited at a thrift store i find like a blazer or a sport coat or an item i get it home i'm getting ready to list it and it's like freaking ripped down the back <laughs> or like a bird's missing worst like, feeling ever it's temporary defeat it like you think to yourself like i literally just wasted like five bucks or here in connecticut the clothing's been jacked up lately at certain stores. Like you might drop fifteen bucks for like a Laurel Piana, like. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's it's here too. It's everywhere. You know, I, I talk to dozens of you guys and girls every week. I hear about the increased prices, the returns, or the eBay search, or you know whatever is is happening in the in in the world. But at the same time, I talk to you guys a week later, and bam, you had a huge week in sales. You know. Caitlin's store is experiencing a little bit of a down, even with 2100. You know what? She jumped on our call. She had energy. She's, she didn't say anything about, oh, I'm not going to go out and list. She was like, what can I do to fix it? What, what are the next steps? Write down. You know, you, you can talk to me and I can give you strategies and tips and this, but you got to write down the work and you got to just put it in and do it. And, and I think daily, like to do lists, goals for the day, you're a big thing with goals, right? Yeah, write it down. I mean, if you want to bring it to reality, write down a goal. And, and here's a big mistake that I used to always make when it, when it came to goal setting is, you know, for example, say I was making like four years ago, there was a point when I was making like $1,500 a month. I would set a goal that like next month I want to do like 10,000. <laughs> because I like saw somebody on YouTube or in a Facebook group and it's like, no, like you don't have to be like the big hot shot Gary Vaynerchuk, like no. set a goal that's something maybe like 10% higher, right? So mm -hmm. like if you're doing 1500, you know, maybe 1650 or maybe right. 18 and it's the people who win, it's not necessarily the people who take off the fastest, it's who sticks around for three years, five years, yep. seven years. That's like, it's that's the right. magic, it's that's not right. rocket science. I mean, we're still here seven years later, four, three, four years later, I've been selling for 10 and, and it's, it's, if you set goals too high and you end up not meeting them, you're going to discourage yourself and then you will end up quitting. If you set small goals, even if you don't reach that extra 10%, if you hit 8%, percent you'd be like, man, I was really close. I'm going to get at it again and I will get it next month. Set realistic goals, do it daily. Don't, I see people try to work out things like months down the road, 90 days. Stop things that. change too quick. Daily, yeah. I do everything daily. You guys know from some of my videos, I literally have a list of things I have to do every day. And if I don't have that list, I am like a lost dog wandering the yard all day. Like, I have to have a list or I will be so unproductive. Except today, which I was pretty unproductive today. But it was worth it. It was well worth coming out and I, hanging out. Yeah, I've got another tip that I want to share. Um, you know... Again, uh, you know, a lot of people might watch 
your YouTube videos on, on, on the Rockstar Flipper or my YouTube videos, and they might say, wow, Steve's killing it with clothes, or Rockstar's killing it with shoes, or you know, he's got a Robert Graham on right now, and <laughs> you might be looking for it. But here's the thing. Depending on where you live, you may or may not have opportunities with clothing. Right. Shoes may be your opportunity. Maybe it's brand new in the box stuff. I went to, um, where was it? I went on a 90-day thrift trip, and I went to a Goodwill, and it was it was, it was was called like a Works Goodwill or something. It's all electronics, the whole store. Oh, yes, I know what that is. Dude, I went in there. They had like 25 PlayStations, like 30 Super Nintendos. Like I ended up popping on a, um, it was a brand new Game Boy game. I paid like 200 and I sold it for like 400 or 450 It's documented somewhere. Wow. Um, but you got to figure out what your opportunity yeah. is in your area, right? What works for you? What's available and what works for you? Like there are down here people are like, "Hey, Patagonia jackets. We're in Florida, it's 80 degrees out there. We don't even know what Patagonia <laughs> is, okay? I Never, I've never found a Patagonia jacket. I can't look at that stuff. But there is plenty of stuff in my area that I, I'm good on. These are plentiful. The Hawaiian shirts down here, the tropical stuff, it's all, you know, Tommy Bahama for days down here. But, you know, what works for you? I get to talk to you guys across the country. Virginia just now, California, um, Chicago, Pittsburgh last week, Star and, and Keith in Pittsburgh, awesome. Their stuff that they buy and sell, they do incredible. I've never seen a single item they have in their store in any store in this town. So always take what's available and don't get discouraged because you don't see what we see. Like, it just doesn't work that way. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, and for everyone who's watching, you know, don't beat yourself up. It, it takes time to succeed. And, uh, you know, if you just push forward a, l a little bit every single day, try to improve like 1% every day, have your goals, uh, work hard, give it everything you have, like you will be successful selling on eBay or maybe Amazon, whatever you decide. Or maybe I started with Craigslist, man. Like That's I started where flipping I was, bicycles on oh, Craigslist. I flipped video games and magic cards on Craigslist like nobody's business. 2006, 2007. Fast forward. Wow, so, man. That yeah, was what? Like, that's 10 like a years decade, ago. over a decade 10, ago, man. 10, I moved here 12 to 13, so it was probably like 10, 11, yeah. It was a, it, it's do what works for you, do what you love, because if you're doing something you hate, that's going to that's gonna kill Get you. Get started, so, man. Just do Get the work. Get started. Yep. And, and I want to kind of close it like with the point of we tell you this, and a lot of people take this motivation, and a lot of people go back and they, they're hyped up, and then they just don't, you know, don't go do it. Be honest with yourself. Like, don't pretend like you're doing it. Do the work, and you'll feel so much better once you're finished with it. Like, just be honest to yourself and and get it done. Like, a, what's the Nike? Just do it. Yeah, Nike, just just just, do it. just get it done. You know, your future self will thank you. And uh, it's pretty cool when you get up to the point where your store is just like generating sales, mm -hmm. not on autopilot. I hate that word, but you know, sometimes you could take like a couple days off, and if you yeah. have. A thousand, fifteen hundred, even like six hundred really high quality optimized listings, optimized titles, good keywords. Maybe you're running a sale. Yep. I mean, you could take off. Maybe you you take off on Friday, come home, and you ship a bunch of stuff out on Monday. That's right. You know, and that's that's exactly when I went to eBay Open, when I went to Midwest, when we had to evacuate for the hurricane. Oh, we, geez, yeah, yeah, we we had stuff turned on, and it, it you know what I mean. A couple days off didn't kill us. Yeah, we lost sales, but it was no big deal because right when we got back, we had everything set, and we just went back to work. Um, and if you happen to be able to spare a few days, I think Steve can give a glowing review of a good place to come for vacation. You want to show them outside? Uh, let's show. Let's flip let's it. Show them outside. So if you guys are wondering why, like the angle is kind of weird, or we're staring at different cameras, like this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, there's Steve. <laughs> So this is the look outside of Steve's hotel room. They hooked it up, the Westin. Wow. Westin on Tampa. That yeah. is downtown. That's where I live. And um, just an awesome view. The convention center. That's the hockey stadium. All the hotels in downtown. You guys can see all that. The water. Fantastic view. Amazing hotel. And it's attached to some really good restaurants downstairs. We had an amazing lunch. All good stuff. And, of course, the best part right there. Get started. Go make it happen. What do you got to say? All right, listen, guys, get off your butts, get the work done, and call me after you're successful and come visit me and hang out. Bam! <laughs> Forget that's like our rally roots. Boom! <laughs>